plants are grafted in the landscape world for a number of different reasons, starting oftentimes with hardiness. So people who grow roses know that if you can get a rose on its own root, the chances are it is really going to survive the climate. However, if the top is not hardy and the root is, it may die back to the ground. One of the things that's happened in the plant world is that consumers love plants that are grown on standard. So it's either a low standard or a high standard, which essentially is a trunk. Unfortunately, what happens with a lot of plants that are grafted on standard is that they revert. So classic is this is probably a Diablo nine bark, one of the big shrub nine barks. You can see where the standard was and you can see that we have no plant left on the top of this. Instead, we have all of these suckers from the base. So one of the problems with grafted plants is depending on the top hardiness, depending on the vigor of the rootstock, you will not end up with the plant you want, you'll end up with having to deal with the suckers. People really like hydrangeas grafted on standard, sort of as one of those great big meatballs by the front door or even in a container. But again, you can see what happens when either we have a lot of damage or we have graft incompatibility. In this instance, here is the vigor of all the sprouts that are coming from the base below the graft union. And here is what the plant is trying to do on the top. Realistically, what should happen here is give up on the standard, cut the big twig out of here, and let this turn back into a shrub. A really troubling problem has started with our ornamental pears, which were considered invasive now. And you can see what has happened here. The rootstock itself has started to really become aggressive. The foliage doesn't match. The growth is tremendous. This is what causes these pears to become invasive species. And unfortunately, in, in taking care of all of those suckers from any plant from below the graft union, you can go ahead and cut them out but that is a never ending process. You can use a couple of chemicals, but that will typically take the top off and not damage the roots or not manage the roots. So they're just going to continue to sucker. Many of our new hybrid species of trees are grafted. And again, what that does is supposedly promote a lot of vigor. Perhaps it is disease resistance or insect resistance in a different form or color. You can see on this elm where the graft union is you can also see the damage that has occurred below the point of the graft. And oftentimes what happens that causes trees to revert or go into that suckering and shrubs as well is the damage in that rootstock causes the rootstock to take over. And you can see that this is actually happening with this elm. So one of the things you can do with the plants in your landscape that are grafted is make sure that the plant is healthy to begin with when you buy it pay attention to whether the suckering is occurring on some plants as an example Harry Lauder's walking stick if you take out the suckers from below the graft union you can restore the vigor and the health of the top of that plant. <laughs>